Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to be assembling our own custom 6S lithium ion pack from this uh, 18650 batteries. Um, I'm going to show you all the process of connecting uh, them all together, solder the, soldering everything you need to solder up to get it to 6S voltage. Uh, I've been often asked uh, in my videos uh, why I'm uh, over discharging my batteries but these batteries are actually good from uh, 4.2 volts per cell to 3.5 or rather 2.5 so I usually fly them uh, to 3 volts per, per cell and I had my record flights of 6 kilometers and I had plenty juice left from for additional I think maybe 3 so yeah these are pretty good pretty inexpensive um, pack for long range flights um, I'm uh, currently using these only as my long range packs because um, current draw on these batteries are actually not good so although these state 30 amps uh, so yeah uh, I will leave the link to this exact packs I'm using um, but yeah uh, let's go over what you need uh, except the packs uh, you need your 6S balance lead, your main power lead and I really like using these 3D printed inserts for keeping the shape and spacing inside the cells and when I need to route the cables it's really really convenient to go through this 3D printed part also I use captain tape I like using captain tape because it's uh, really sturdy uh, it's not prone to any temperature um, deformation uh, yeah and it's lighter than than your usual usual uh, electrical tape and you will be needing your heat shrink so yeah let's go build the pack so the first step is to rough enough the poles on the batteries since some of them actually don't uh, take solder uh, that well. So I like to use my Dremel tool and I like to roughen up the metal part on the So this is how they should look like and next we are going to uh, gather them up as the align them rather as they are going to sit in the pack and we are going to connect one by one with these wires so let's go and do that. So. As I said, I like to use these 3D printed inserts to align the batteries correctly. So we uh, go negative, positive, positive, negative, you, or just follow the orientation as shown.
So uh, when you finish, you have something like this. So next, I'm going to solder up all the, or rather, firstly, print in the the pads on the battery and then connect it via these little cables. So let's go to that. So let's print in the pads. As you can see, the battery is taking the the flux very nicely or So we have the flux on or rather material on um, every battery and it's ready to be connected via these little wires in series. So let's go and do that. So in the next step we are going to label our poles uh, in order to easily identify and connect everything up. So we are going to label poles like this. So we have the first So the plus should be even number and uneven number is negative. So let's go 3, 4, this is 6, and then 5. So, we have them labeled like this and in this step we are going to connect our pack positive and negative. So, the first or the rather number one is your black lead and your number 12 is your positive. So let's solder up the battery lead. As you said, on the pole 12 it's your positive and on your pole 1 is your negative. So yeah, now we are going to, that we have our main battery connected, uh, connector connected, we are going to solder up our balance connector. Next we are going to connect the cells using these little short wires. So we are connecting 4 and 5 and we are connecting 8 and 9. On the other side we are connecting the poles 6 and 7 then 10 and 13 and then last two remaining your battery now should look like this we are connected our uh, main battery lead to 1 and 12 then we are soldering up 8 and 9 4 and 5 like this and then on the bottom part we have 2 soldered to 3 6 soldered to 7 10 solder to 13. So if everything is okay, our main battery voltage should be 20 volts. That corresponds to 
6s voltage also we don't have cell reading because we need to solder up our balance plug so let's do that first we need to solder up your positive and negative to your positive and negative lead we have now from the negative side we need to connect the second wire to num pole number two our third wire to pole number four our fourth wire to pole number six fifth wire wire to pole number ten so let's go and do that so uh, since we need our poles um, 2, 10 and 6 are on the bottom part of the battery we left these longer so let's go and connect so we connected everything together our balance leads uh, for the 10 2 and 6 are, are longer and connected to the positive uh, pads on the battery uh, our uh, other connected to 8 and 4 and of course to 12 and 1 so the battery should look like this just to confirm We have now the cell voltage and if just to confirm that everything is wired correctly we have made our our six cell lithium ion pack. Next we are going to wrap the battery in heat shrink to protect it so let's go and do that first thing uh, that I like to do I like to secure the pegs with the little painters tape just to, to be sure that the pack is packed tightly And then for insulation I like to go over once more with the captain tape. If you use those 3D printed uh, spacers that they really come in handy here to uh, keep the pack aligned. So yeah, here is all wrapped and secured, there is no movement in the cells. Um, I have my balance connector here, my main lid here, and next we are going to take a heat shrink and wrap it.
So yeah, <coughs> here is the pack all wrapped and secured and ready to to be flown. So one more time to check everything if the battery if the, all the cells have their reading since this battery needs to be really reliable and since you're flying yeah with it six kilometers away like I do. So yeah let's take it for a spin. I would like to do a conclusion of why it's good to use lithium-ion pack like this and it's basically the power you can store in this tight package. So here is R-Line Tattoo 1800 6S pack and it weighs Two hundred eighty-nine grams. So this pack, six S, three thousand million powers is three hundred and six. So this is one battery I also made. Uh, I believe it's two thousand two hundred um, million or something like this, or rather. Hmm. I think it's 2200. It's 358 grams. So for this much power to store in this small of a pack, I mean it's really really great. So for long range flights, even with quads, uh, people you tend to use this kind of batteries on wings since they don't draw much power um, but in long range just scenario on 7 inch I mean the quad actually pulls like 20 amps maximum and yeah the battery is more than capable of supplying that so yeah if you like long range flying and you like to go really really far I actually prefer to go lithium ion I'm going to uh, leave the links to all the batteries used the leads the everything uh, in the description below so if you want to build your own pack this is how you do it